In question 7, we're asked to find the values of the unknown coefficients and constants P and Q in the polynomial given. Um, we're told that x minus 2 um, is a factor of that polynomial, so in the first instance we know that uh, substituting 2 into the polynomial will give uh, an answer of 0. So doing this we get uh, 4 lots of 2 cubed plus P lots of 2 squared minus 11 lots of 2 plus Q. Um, simplifying, 2 cubed is 8, so that gives us 4, 8, 32, plus 4p minus 22 plus q is equal to 0. And gathering like terms, we can see that we have 10 plus 4p plus q is equal to 0. The second piece of information we get is that when it's divided by x plus 1, the remainder is 9. So substituting minus 1 into polynomial will give you an answer of 9. Substituting, we get 4 lots of minus 1 cubed plus p lots of minus 1 squared minus 11 lots of minus 1 plus q is equal to 9. So here we're going to get minus 4 plus p minus 1 squared is 1 plus 11 plus q is equal to 9. So simplifying, we get... Um, P plus 7 plus Q is equal to 9. So P plus Q minus 2 is equal to 0, subtracting 9 from both sides. We now have two equations and we have two unknowns. So I'm going to rearrange this equation here to give us P is equal to 2 minus Q. I'm then going to use this fact to substitute back into the first equation we created. So subbing in we get 10 plus 4 lots of 2 minus q plus q is equal to 0. Solving, we get uh, 10 plus 8 minus 4q plus q is equal to 0, which gives us uh, 18 minus 3q is equal to 0. 18 is equal to 3q, so q is equal to 6. Given that Q is equal to 6, we know that P is equal to 2 minus Q. So P is equal to 2 minus Q. So therefore P is equal to 2 minus 6, giving a value of P to be minus 4.